Welcome back to 2% Football Camp. I'm Eduardo Cecilia and today we have a really special episode prepared for you guys. And this one is not about football. As my birthday gift, I was able to bring you guys a really special guest. But before I present her and get into the interview, I'll give you guys a little backstory to understand what kind of person she is. The people who know me best know that I'm always trying to improve and get better, day in and day out, working out twice, maybe three times a day. With that being said, long story short, last year in Glenwood, the school year for the seniors was over. There were just a couple of weeks left and the rest of the students were taking classes. So I really had no reason to be there, but I decided to attend the school's gym for those two weeks. One of those days I'm all there by myself, it's probably 7.30, and this girl comes in maybe 30 minutes later. I know who she was, I mean, she had just won every single state champion she could when it comes to her sport but I had never interacted with her so I kept working out maybe after a couple of hours I'm done and she keeps working out she's there taking notes of every single weight she uses for every single rep and exercise she does I couldn't believe it I have known a lot of people who are very talented and get success because of it maybe not because they work hard but she was doing exactly that so I come up to her start talking with her and at the end I had to ask why are you here? You're also a senior, you shouldn't be here, and you just won the state championship. She turns around and just fires back the question at me. So I simply explained that my season was over and I was getting a head start for the next one. She just smiled and told me that it was the same exact reason why she was there. And that's when I understood. She gets it. That's how committed she is. That's what she's all about. Without prolonging this any longer, I hope you guys enjoy this interview as much as I did. Well, today we have, even though she won't admit it, one of the best, if not the best, cross-country and track runner in the history of the state of Iowa when it comes to high school. She's also really passionate about what she does, she has a big heart, and she's a great friend of mine. Welcome, Jeanette Schraft. Hey, Eddie, thank you for having me. Of course. Well, let's roll. Talk to us a little bit about your backstory. How did you get to the point where you are at life right now? Honestly, it kind of started with me not knowing what I was capable of. Like, I remember my freshman year of high school, I won my first state championship and I was a complete underdog. I was seated like 22nd out of 24 people and nobody expected me to even get top 10, but I just ran away with the race and I had no idea what I was doing. And I think that's key, honestly, is if you don't think that what you're doing is impossible, then it can't be impossible. So you just gotta put your mind to something and get started on it. And little by little, if you really do believe in yourself, then whatever it is that you wanna accomplish, then it can get done. From my point of view, that's one of the best moments ever when it comes to untapping your potential. I think all successful people like you are have this little moment this little click where everything comes together and they start realizing that they can do even more than they ever imagined. I mean, but of course that always comes after hard working hours. You know, when people see someone do really good at something, they always tend to ask them, what makes them great during races or games or whatever it is that they do? I think we can both agree that they all forget about the hard work that you put day in and day out to ultimately produce that result. Talk to us a little bit about that process for you. Yeah, I think a lot of people understand that you can't be made great just in a race or just when people are watching. Like, you have to know that what it is that you're chasing after, that greatness that you're headed for is something that you already have. It's something that you see every day when you're working out and you're doing the little things, even if other people can't see it. Because if you keep at those things every single day, the process, the lifestyle, then eventually everyone else will see it too. Now, we know that if someone someone really wanted to, they could definitely follow that routine for a day or two or even a week. But what about those days that you're not feeling like it? What do you do then? Yeah, there are a lot of days when you wake up and you aren't feeling it. Like, I get up at 5 in the morning because I need to go out and run or I want to go out and run before the humidity and the heat gets the best of me. And, you know, sometimes I'll wake up and I'll think to myself, wow, I don't want to get out of bed. But then I also have to think to myself, this is the point. Like, this is seriously the point of it all, is sitting up and putting my feet on the ground and getting after it right now. Yes, that's definitely one of the topics that I always talk about. You know the difference between motivation and passion. We can play any video for someone, a motivational speaker, and they can make you want to run through a brick wall. Fine. And you actually want to succeed and do 
this and that. But when that person doesn't have that drive, they're gonna eventually quit. Especially when they face adversities, when when they realize it's not that easy. Only the ones that are passionate about it enough are gonna be the ones that are gonna keep on going. I don't know, me personally, I don't get it. If you have come this far, why will you quit? Keep on going and chase your goals. Of course it's gonna cost you a price, of course you're gonna have to sacrifice some things or some people even, but I think it's worth it. Okay, now, as any successful person, I know you have faced naysayers. Those that are always like, oh you're crazy, why do you do it, why do you wake up so early, etc. How have you faced that? I think naysayers are just people that are tightly bound to societal constructs. People that don't really understand the truth and aren't capable yet of believing in themselves. So they don't want to see you do it either. Like you're always going to have those people that tell you to come down off the ledge or the people that tell you to come back when you're on your way. Um, but you know, you just got to think of it as they aren't trying to bring you down. They, they're fans. Everyone is a fan, you know, everyone that pays attention to you and is watching what you're doing is really rooting for you even if they say that they aren't like you have to go into what you do every day with the idea that you're doing it for them you're doing it to show them that they can too even if they're the ones that try to take you down okay jen let me ask you a question what wakes you up we all have that little reason what makes that spark inside of you shine and inspire you to take action every day oh what wakes me up mm, i guess it's the idea of inspiration over motivation. You know, motivation comes and goes, but inspiration is something that stays forever. And I think one thing that never, never ends and is always there is my faith. And that's something that I've carried with me and I've made known throughout my running and my career. And it's also the one thing that will last until the end of time. So it's, it's an inspiration that doesn't fade. Okay, to wrap this up real quick, I have a tricky one for you. If you had to look at the eyes of a little girl or little boy who wants to chase their dreams, let's say a uh, 10 year old Jan, what would you say to her? Oh, if I could tell 10 year old Jeanette anything, I would tell her to close her eyes and think about what it is that she wanted. Not a car or a house or um, some great title in athletics. I would think what she really, really wanted. And then I would tell her to devise a plan of how to get there. And that her plan more than likely will not work on the first try, but to never change the goal, just change the way she goes about achieving that goal. Because I think a lot of people, when things don't go their way, then they decide that it's not possible to have what they want, when really they just need to make a way with the resources that they have and change the plan, but never the goal. Wow, definitely. Nothing like having a plan. You know, there's this study I really like. Scientists have proven that if you're in a desert and there's no reference points anywhere around you, you're gonna start walking in a circle because one of your legs is stronger than the other one. I think this applies to real life too. You can move as fast as you can, but if you don't have a real goal, a reference point that you wanna go to, you're never gonna get there. And I think that advice that you just gave yourself, it's awesome. I mean, that's why we do this. You, whoever you are who's listening to me right now, if you like this video, of course, share it. If you think it's gonna work for someone else, share it. But the purpose of this is that we believe that we can make a change. If there's just a single person out there that listens to this podcast or video, however you want to call it, and gets inspired, not motivated, to go chase success, our work is done. That's what we want. So with that, we're going to close off. Jen, again, thank you very much for being here. It really means a lot. Yeah, of course, Eddie. Thanks for having me, man. Just keep being great. Love you. Well, that's it for today. I hope you guys liked the interview. Once again, she's Janet Schraft. I'm Eduardo Cecilia, and this was 2% Football Camp.